Hey yo, what it do YouTube? Welcome to High Vibrational Kings. This is a channel for people that want to better themselves in life. Shout out to anybody holding on to their energy, breaking bad addictions, and trying to become a better version of themselves. Alright guys, so in this video, I want to talk about something that gave me the idea to make this video. Um, so somebody commented uh, that semen retention is a cope for people who can't pull females, you know? Um, and I just wanted to talk about it because I thought it was hilarious. So, yeah, so shout out to that anonymous Coomer for that comment. But I want to break it down to you guys. So, apparently, seam retention is a coping mechanism for people who can't pull women, right? So, is that true? Hmm, let's get into it. No, it's not, guys. <laughs> the short answer is no because let me try to explain it to you guys. Semen retention is a tool that turns boys into men, like straight up, guys. It turns weak boys into strong men over time. You know, retention is a practice that takes a lot of discipline, you know, mentally, spiritually. You know, every day is just, it's a discipline. And nowadays, men are so led by their lust that it becomes so normalized for them to just give their energy away. You know, just spend all this time and energy on the modern woman, right? Pe putting her on a pedestal, things like that. So that's not even the case when it comes to retention. You could be on retention and have choosing signals all the time. You know, like for me personally, I've had different opportunities in the past where, you know, I could have smashed chicks and all this bullshit, you know, polling chicks, all these things, you know, the options are always there. But that doesn't mean that somebody who's practicing retention is like a loser or something or that because they can't get women. It's almost like the complete opposite, guys. It's like you value your energy, you value your time, and you want to redirect all that energy that you would have put on the female back onto yourself in order to do greater things in life, you know? Because a lot of people waste a lot of time in meaningless seasonal relationships, you know, just chasing ass and titties, you know? <laughs> like, for real, guys, they're so stuck in their fleshly desires that they, they're always stunting their, their growth, like, spiritually. And, like, they could be so far ahead in life you know, financially, physically, spiritually, you know, be in abundance in, the, in a lot of areas of their life, but instead they're trapped in their lower nature of just wanting to smash, you know? And so it's kind of funny, like when people think that, that like retention is like something that is for people that, you know, can't get women because you actually attract more women when you're on retention, which is hilarious. You know, you could be like, you know, fapping away or just like hooking up with chicks, but that doesn't, that literally doesn't mean anything. Like it's not taking you anywhere, guys. Um, when you go on retention, it's like a cheat code for life. You know, you start doing everything more effortlessly. You have all this energy and abundance that you could redirect it into better things in your life to make more money to like use that creative sexual energy <clears throat> in different ways. You know, and at the same time, you're not depleting of your nutrients. Um, you feel more, like, healthy when you retain because you're holding on to all those, benef like, all those nutrients that your body, uh, you know, instead of releasing it and then being in recovery mode, your body is holding on to it. And now it's, like, you're operating that, like, more efficiently, you know, when you're retaining. So, yeah, it, it's funny, guys. Because you have to keep in mind, like, society um, is so used to, like, normalizing things, right? So if society normalizes watching porn, chasing women, always, you know, smashing this, hooking up that, like, all this hookup culture nonsense, guys, you know, it becomes normalized. So if you tell somebody, like, a mod, like a, a average guy, like, a you know, somebody that's still, like, not spiritually awakened if you tell them about retention they'll think you're crazy you know i want to make a separate video on that you know how like some people they don't they won't understand it 
you know they just lack the knowledge of understanding the importance of you know retaining your energy um, and just redirecting it somewhere else because you know I, I didn't know about it back then either and you know when I heard about like nofap and things like that I just saw it as like a challenge you know like I didn't really take it serious because everything that you see on the internet it kind of you know you kind of brush it off as like a challenge or you don't really have the awareness behind it but when you start doing it for yourself or when you're trying to quit like the hub and you start practicing retention you'd be like holy shit like it's like seeing life like with new eyes you know you have all this energy now you have all this knowledge you feel like you could clear, uh, think clearly um you just everything just gets magnetized to you you know and then now you're just like not even chasing women anymore and and then you see like how pointless a lot of these like a lot of like the way that people move you know the modern man the way they think is like really pointless you know always thinking that they have to be on dating apps and pulling chicks here and pulling like just wasting your energy wasting your essence on a thought on a on somebody that doesn't even like care about you so it's it's hilarious when people say that retention is for people that can't get chicks because that's not even the case at all guys we are just more disciplined into you know we think more long term you know a lot of that smash shit is just short term pleasure instant gratification and a lot of ego but retention guys it just gives you a whole new perspective on life it's so awesome when you're not like trapped in your lower nature always just you know busting nuts and just wasting just selling your soul like basically whenever you're watching those type of videos guys because um it just lowers your vibration guys like it's just trash like all that stuff guys things of this world it lo lowers your vibration and that's why you're always depressed always you know low energy you just feel miserable but you realize that when you do things more in the spirit you know you feel more alive you feel more literally full of more life force energy so when you get around chicks you know you're talking to them because you see a high quality woman not because you're just trying to you know clap cheeks and all this bullshit because you know i've been there too but when you think about it it isn't really that big of a deal it's just like i said it's all ego like yeah I smash like i'm the man but okay what else do you have going on for yourself you know you're just wasting your energy your essence on just clapping cheeks but you know clap that money instead you know just stack up your money uh because literally guys um i know this one dude where he's always bragging about you know pulling chicks on tinder and all this nonsense but he's always broke he's always like asking for money or just trying to sell shit and i'm over here just grinding every day while he's just having random chicks come over to his house every week and then you know in society eyes he's like yeah he's the man he's smashing chicks but what is he gaining in the long run <clears throat> you know all he's doing is just creating a bunch of soul ties with a bunch of demonic women you know low vibrational women not getting anywhere in his life so what's the point of doing all that guys just wasting your energy on them when you don't have to guys the thing about retention is it's not that we don't want to you know hang out with women you know it's it's about like using discernment of okay is this if this chick gonna bring is this chick going to bring value to my life or is she gonna drain me you know because when you retain guys you see how peaceful like everything gets and you feel so good within yourself you don't need validation from anybody um you know you have the energy within you feel good you feel validated by god and you feel blessed every day so you see how pointless like a lot of things are like how the way that people move so you're not even going to want to deal with a lot of what's out there you know what i'm saying because a lot of a lot what a lot of what's out there is just narcissism it's just ego it's just materialistic chicks you know so i'd rather retain my energy redirect that energy into the gym you know i've been working out you see that shit retain gain that's what it's all about guys just redirect that energy onto myself until I meet another high quality woman you know why am I gonna waste my seed on all these 
low vibrational women that don't deserve me when I could just retain my energy, redirect it in different ways, make more money, get more stronger, uh, become abundant in a lot of ways for the future. And then in the future, you know, if God wants to send me a woman, then it will be that way. But I'm not trying to focus my energy externally on things like women, like, like very, you know, carnal, very just low vibrational. It's just like, it's pointless, guys. So it's not that you're like a weirdo or just a loser when you're, when you don't like want to deal with chicks or just like, it's just funny. It's all about, it's all about perspective, you know? Me back then, I was thinking last night, like a year ago, I was like, damn, I used to be so weak. You know, I used to be so mentally weak when it came to my lower nature. You know, I would always give in to my urges every, every time I felt it. Um, but it was never taking me anywhere, you know? I wasn't as strong as I am now, physically, mentally, and spiritually. I didn't have the boldness within myself. I didn't have that big energy, you know? I didn't feel confident to talk to people. I didn't really have like that natural charisma. I always felt anxious, you know? But now I'll be talking to anybody, girls, guys, like nothing. Like they, like there could be like, they could be like super beautiful and I won't be phased by it. But that doesn't mean that I can't like, you know, like whatever, you know, like, like people will like, girls will like look at you and shit like that. But that doesn't mean that you have to pursue them or pull them or all this nonsense, guys. It's all about, you know, like I said in the beginning, retention turns weak boys into strong men um, over time. And that's how I feel, guys. I used to be a lot more weaker back then, but retention is a tool that helps you, you know, face like your challenges like head on. Like, you know, like a, like a lion, you know, you just feel fearless, you just feel bold and you're not scared you're uh, vibrating at a higher frequency now so you know you feel a lot more powerful and you don't want to just give your power up to just any chick like that so that's why people retain their energy and just redirect it back within themselves because you know they just start feeling like alive again you know i don't even feel depressed anymore guys i don't feel all those negative emotions that i used to feel back when i was on that fapping bullshit and just on that hub and all that nonsense guys it all like kind of just went away like i just feel high on life i feel grateful you know making videos and stuff just inspiring people and like people when they when you're around people you know they could feel your energy and then they like it and it's like it's like that mutual like you know good energy you know you're just bouncing like good vibrations off each other and you know you influence people around you you know that's what i noticed too you influence people around you um, cause you, you have all this energy. So you lift other people's spirits, you know? So when you're always depleted, always polluting your mind and your soul with the hub, it's not taking you anywhere, guys. You're just destroying yourself. And even if it's not in the hub, guys, if you're just sleeping around, um, you know, you're just, you're just, you're just losing your energy to these people that don't even deserve you in the long run. So like I said, guys, just redirect that energy back within yourself and focus all that energy back on you and then like you will do a lot more things like in the future you will manifest things twice as fast you feel a lot more happier you feel definitely feel a lot more masculine guys you know i feel a lot more masculine more assertive when i talk you know the way i move i just feel like like a freaking celebrity when i'm out in public people be like staring at me because you know my back is up my head is up you know it's like i own the place you know and it's not even talking about ego, it's just the way I feel within. And then people, you know, they kind of just like, oh, like, what's this guy about, you know? It's that, it's that energy that you get on retention. So back to what I was saying, guys. No, retention is not for losers. Retention is from turning you into a loser, into a king. That's what it feels like, guys. Retention is a tool that helps you go from being a low vibrational loser to a high vibrational king. So... With that being said, guys, you know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for the 1K. Um, maintain your frame. Retain gang. Woo! Let's get it, guys. All right, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.